Hi, my name is Rachel, the R and the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I am here to talk about The Four Profound Weaves by R.B. Limburg. This is a novella that was published in September 2020, but I hadn't heard of it until it was nominated for the Nebula Awards, which means I picked this up without knowing what it was about. And it ends up that R.B. Limburg writes what they call bird verse stories. So it's everything in the same world, same gods. And this was my first partaking of that series or that universe. Honestly, it's made me interested to read more of the stories that are set in this universe. So this novella follows two characters. So I know I'm going to butcher these names, but if this book does follow two characters, a woman named Uzia and a man who is called non or is called Nenesair, which isn't his name, but he is a newly transformed man and is searching for his name or for the person who believes who can give him his name. And ends up Uazia, 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 and ends up Uazia also is a transformed woman, but she transformed as a child. And so what I mean by transformed, she was born one gender and in her heart was another gender. And this is where the weaves come into the story. Um, they say if you make a weave of wind, you can wrap it around yourself and it will change you, change your body to match your heart. Now the unnamed man for many years was a woman and had his female lovers and one of his female lovers, even though he had already told her that he really is a man, she did not want him to change. His society, they, the women are traders and he had come to this village and a woman had made him a weave of wind and his lover asked him to give it to her until she was ready to let him change. And ends up she was never willing to let him change. And it wasn't until after she was dead that he took that weave and some of his grandchildren came back to his village and underwent the transformation. None of this is spoilers because this is the beginning of the story. Like, this is the setup for where they are at the beginning. In Uzia, it was her aunt who gave him this weave of wind. And she was learning from her aunt. And then her aunt did an unspeakable thing and was exiled from the clan. And she's been waiting for 40 years for her aunt to come back and finish teaching her the four weaves. So like I said, this is the setup of the book. And I had never read anything by Lindberg, so I wasn't quite sure what to expect. But I actually really enjoyed this story. So I really enjoy journey stories where characters are going to find out who they are and to be comfortable with who they are. And that's really what this was. Um, there was a lot of talk about what society says a woman should be doing and what a man should be doing. And it, with Uazia and the unnamed man being from different societies, they were having this conversation because Uazia was like, so what if you do this? This That doesn't make you a man or woman. And the unnamed man is like, no, women do this and men do this in our society. And it made me think a lot of our society in the real world and how we like to make labels for people and say, this is what a man does. This is what a woman does. This is what makes you a man. This is what makes you a woman. And it's not true. So I, I really enjoy the themes of this story, especially about change. I mean, well, the central theme of this story is about change and how people react to change and how change affects people. I honestly believe that this is a story that people, more people should read. And I'm glad I picked it up. Um, I'm glad it was nominated. And yeah, 
this novella receives five stars for me because I really think it was such a powerful, impactful story. I love the characters, the atmosphere, the writing is gorgeous. I mean, I enjoyed everything about this novella. And I hope that you will pick it up if you haven't yet. And if you have, I'd like to hear your opinions. So please leave me some comments down below. Thank you and have a good day.